Today, I want to go over the benefits of a real estate team for real estate agents, because I think it's pretty confusing based on a lot of interviews that we do each month. I think that a lot of people think that joining a real estate team will restrict their future growth. But if you're already in the position as a real estate agent where you don't have leads, you don't have coaching, you don't have accountability, and you're not doing any business, there's not a ton of growth happening. Nobody really wants to tell you that, but that's the truth. It's very hard to learn in this market as a solo agent right now. And we're about to go into the hardest time to be a solo real estate agent that you've seen in a long time. The market is gonna compress a little. That means it's gonna be much harder to get leads. There's gonna be less leads out there. There's gonna be less of your sphere looking to buy and sell because of the high mortgage rates and the availability of where people are gonna move if they sell and if they have to buy up to do that. That's gonna shrink the pool of available options as a real estate agent. The good things about most real estate teams is they are able to provide you leads. My team, again, my name is Jonathan Green. My team is called Streamline Properties on Market, brokered by eXp Realty. We run all over the state of New Jersey in the Philadelphia area of Pennsylvania, parts of New York, and parts of Nevada. What we provide is accountability, coaching, camaraderie, and all of the tools that you need to become the best real estate agent. That's the important part. The best real estate agent, the, the highest level of ethics, and somebody who understands the business and how to help clients. We don't look at ourselves as salespeople at all. We look at ourselves as real estate advisors. Let me go over a couple of the misnomers based on questions and feedback that we get. If your first question when you're joining a real estate team is all about the splits, you're probably not thinking correctly about it. And I know in your mind you're thinking it's a fair question. But if you don't have leads and you don't have existing business and you don't have coaching and you have no accountability and you don't know how to set your schedule and you have nobody to bounce ideas off and you have a mentor who doesn't respond to you and all of these things, and then your first question is, well, how much money less am I going to make when you hand me all of the good leads? This is where the dichotomy is. And this is what people are thinking as newer agents, experienced agents, when they're looking to a team, they're thinking, how much money am I going to lose? I would tell you to think of it the other way. How much more money are you going to make by having all the coaching accountability resources, backend services, transaction management, and coaching, and leads? How much more business can you do with that, even if there is a double split or triple split? And I'll explain that. The double split means you split with your brokerage, whether you're at EXP or another brokerage, and then you split with the team as well, because the team is going to give you leads and you're going to have a different split on those leads. Your sphere leads are going to have a better split than you would on the leads that are given to you by the team. And then lead sources these days, Zillow, Homelight, Ojo, Realtor.com, a lot of sites are referral lead sources. What that means is they're going to take a chunk off of the top. Why is that good for me as a team leader? If I had to pay for the amount of leads that I'm getting on Zillow right now through Zillow Flex's program, I'd be paying about $800,000 a year. Yep, $800,000 a year is what these leads would cost in the premier agent cycle. Uh, they don't cost anything other than 25 to 35% at closing, which comes off of both our sides. So if I can get $800,000 worth of leads for free up front, and then I can nurture those leads and every referral that I get from those leads have none of that split, I think of this all as an opportunity. And when we go into real estate calls where we're interviewing new agents who are interested in a team but don't understand, our push is that this is an opportunity. You can take it or you cannot take it, but you have to see it for what it is. Do you want to be part of something special, a team that is here to help you and nurture you and has your back at all times? Or do you want to focus on the metrics in the early game of getting 100% on one or two transactions as opposed to double or triple splits on as many transactions as you can handle? I'm not going to say it's easy. A lot of people think they want to do the work and then they don't want to do the work because being accountable to myself, my team success manager, my team growth manager, it's a lot. You know, it's a lot. 
But our job as a team leader, team growth, team success manager, our job is to help you reach your goals. So you tell us what your goals are, and we're going to hold you accountable to doing the things that it takes to reach those goals. And inside of that, you're going to be inside of a team structure where people are working together, always there to help each other, have private areas where they can go, where all the resources are, onboarding, training, any answer that you need as an agent, a team can answer because they've done it before and they have the experience, they have the transaction volume and they're scaling higher in the business. If you look at us, we really only had our first full year last year. This year we made Real Trends top thousand. I don't know if that's great, if everybody thinks that that's something special, but I know that my team works hard and we work hard on the back end to make sure that they're getting all the resources that they need. There's a lot of subtle things in real estate that you're not going to have as a real estate agent who's a solo agent. No transaction management, which means you're going to go and do all the paperwork yourself. And when you're new, it's going to take you a long time, a long time. And you're probably going to do it wrong. You're going to miss some paperwork. You're not going to understand which things you need to do a listing or to send out a buyer, uh, a buyer contract. And if you don't send the buyer contract the right way with a good email, and the correct attachments that they're looking, you're not gonna get the offer accepted and you're not doing a good job or the best job for your buyer. We train all of our agents to make sure that they're operating at the highest level. So even when they're a brand new agent, it's gonna to appear to the listing agent when you're submitting for buyers that you've been doing this a long time. And we got that feedback all the time. Coaching, we are on doing masterminds every single day for one hour. We have a lot of separate events and trainings. And this is what can take you from zero to 100. All the skills that you need are built inside of teams right now because there's no lead sources or brokerages who are focused on solo agents because they can't. They don't have the services to match up. Everything's gonna be automated in the back end. You can definitely do a lot as a solo agent, but I'm just telling you when the market compresses and your own sphere doesn't wanna do business and you have never had a lead source, and our lead source is always flowing, no matter the, the, the tepid part of the market or whether it's hot, it's always coming in. But one thing I want to mention again, a lot of people also make this mistake. One of the first questions they ask us is, how much money am I going to make on your team? Um, I don't know. I don't even know how good you are as an agent. That's why we're doing this interview. I don't know if you're going to be a good interviewer and then not do anything and be lazy. I have no idea. We're hedging our bets. I can never tell you how much you're going to make. And it's not really relevant to tell you how much each of my agents is making because they each work a different way. Some are fully full-time, some are part-time. We connect you to our agents so you can do a good job of understanding what it's like. But if one of your first questions is these, what's the splits? How much money am I going to make? Or can I take your clients when I leave? I guarantee you we're not going to hire you. No offense, but those aren't business questions. If you go into an interview with Google and you tell Google, hey, how much am I going to make off of the residuals of clients that you give me? Maybe Google's not a great example. They're not going to tell you. They don't know. If you meet your metrics, you might make X. We can't tell because we don't know what your price point is. Are you savvy with um, luxury buyers, that would be great. But a lot of new agents are going to start, you know, you're going to be punching out condos and, and small houses, 200, 300,000. It takes a while to upgrade. And the only way you can upgrade is through coaching and training and mentorship and camaraderie and knowing other agents. And the thing about teams that's different from being a solo agent, you're not on that island anymore. You know, you're not just looking in workplace or watching YouTube videos or hoping that somebody helps you or waiting an hour. You're involved in something that is always moving and always has momentum. I'm going to be honest with you, after two years of running this team, and I've run a previous team before, I know the perceptions out there. These team leaders make all the money and they're working the agents so hard. It's definitely not the case. Most of the money that comes in goes back into the business and the split is as fair or fairer than any others in the country. The biggest teams run on much much less splits than we do. We're trying to help you as a new agent, seasoned agent, any type of real estate agent, grow your business and reach the goals that you want to reach. 
but you have to be willing to do the work and you have to be coachable. So all that to say, if you're interested in real estate as an agent and you're a solo agent, no matter if you're in my market or another market, you should be looking at real estate teams. You really should. There's no quicker way to get your business going than working on a real estate team that is can prove to you based on their statistics that they're doing X amount of business. You can just look it up on Zillow, look it up in the back end of your brokerage, look it up on Real Trends, and see who's doing the best business. And you want to be part of that type of thing. Because when the market goes down and there's no leads and your sphere doesn't want to work, nothing's going to happen. And then you're going to wonder, how come I didn't talk to the real estate team? I don't know. I think maybe you were too worried about the ancillary quote negatives of a team, but you should only be focused on the positive. I can tell you the people that we hire right away, all they want is the coaching, training, mentorship, and the camaraderie. Whatever the split is, it is. They're just going to hustle it out and keep making more as time goes on. That's how you need to be if you want to make it in this business, if you don't already have an established book of business. If you're a solo agent and you have an established book of business, you're going to be okay because you know what you're doing. But real estate's hard. It's shifting all the time. Every three months, there's a different type of shift in the market for agents, and you have to adjust to your buyers and sellers. Real estate teams are ahead of that, educating their team members, coaching them, training them, keeping them at the forefront of the market. So with all that said, long-winded enough, if you're interested in real estate teams and you work for a brokerage, you can just search your brokerage's interior and look for teams in your area. If you're interested in real estate teams and you're in the state of New Jersey and you're interested in us at Streamline Properties, you can just send an email to info at streamline.properties. That will go to our team success manager. We do have back-end services. It's one of the big parts of a team. A team basically runs like a mini brokerage inside the umbrella of the main brokerage. I hope this has been helpful. If it's off-putting to you, you're probably not going to be right for a team anyway, and that's no big deal. But you have to understand what you're looking at as a solo agent and how it appears to somebody who's running a business on the other side. We're not just part-time in real estate. This is a business. I take all of my time, and so do our back-end um, services people, we're spending a ton of time running this like a business. And we want you as a real estate agent to run your business like a business, not a job.